this has been the most incredible day of my entire life, which sounds very pathetic from coming from me. Okay, let me start from the beginning. Last night we had that really huge storm that knocked out our power, so that kind of sucked. But this morning, thankfully, our power came back on. And I look at my email and I got an email from Sassy from channel 963 saying, Hey Taylor, give me your contact information. I know I had entered a contest, but I was like, did I win like a Sonic drink or like a gift card or something? But I noticed in the email she gave me her phone number. So then I called her and it got to her voicemail. Hey Sassy, this is Taylor from uh, the email that you sent me and uh, just trying to get a hold of you. Okay, bye. Like an idiot, I was like, I didn't leave her my phone number. I am so stupid. Hey, this is Taylor from your previous voicemail. Uh, here's my phone number and give me a call back. Thanks, bye. Within like 20 minutes, I get a phone call. Hey, this is Sassy from Channel 963. Because we've been trying to get a hold of you for a while, but you were a winner of the Ed Sheeran Acoustic Listener Lounge Contest. My jaw dropped to the floor. This whole entire day just felt completely unreal because I never win anything. I never ever win any contest that I enter. So, And I was one of 13 people that got to do this. That is just completely unreal. Just, oh my god. This is my wristband that I got to have. I never want to take it off. Thankfully I worked up the courage to ask him two questions. Hello. Hi, what are your plans after the Red Tour? Plans after the Red Tour? Um, I've been on tour promoting this album since like January 2011. So I haven't actually been home properly, and I, I bought I bought a farm which I haven't really seen, and I kind of I want to I want to have some time off. I want to get some pets. I want to get a duck and a goat. Sweet. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got four months of doing nothing, um, which I can't wait for. Can't yeah. Wait. But it kind of sucks because when I first went on tour, all my friends were like still living in town. And then they all went off to university, so we were all the way at the same time. Mm. And now I'm coming home, like, they've all been at home for like a year, but when I come home, they all bugger off again. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to need a duck for company. There we go. <laughs> that's raging on now. I'm out of touch. I'm out of love. I'll pick you up when you're getting down. Um, yeah, here's my question. Have you ever thought about cutting your hair? Uh, yes. 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 Um, <laughs> The problem with being ginger is that you have, like, not blonde eyebrows, because blonde is like blonde, it's like a colour. We have, like, clear eyebrows, so when my hair's short, I either I either look like a potato or that I've got, like, I've got, like some sort of disease. But I have, like, this thing called a cowlick, mm -hmm. and it kind of goes right. It looks like I have a receding hairline. <laughs> so, yeah, I just think long hair is the way forward, um, and there's lots of it. It can... Shake or, I can't shake it. But, <laughs> but yeah, thank you. Hello. Fly to the motherland, sell love to another man. It's too cold outside for angels to fly. For angels to fly. Oh, under the vines, scream it out. She don't want to go outside tonight. Oh, hold your life from home and get you tired. Thank you. 
just this whole evening was completely unreal. But yeah, I'm tired and I'm gonna go to bed now, so catch you later. See ya. Well, I don't have many and I don't have much. In fact, I don't have any, but I go now. Cause I know the signs and I know that's